Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Nick and you're watching Helpful Hebrew, where we learn a different Hebrew word every day. Uh, for the past several days, we've been learning the first lines of the very first book of the Bible, of Genesis. And um, so far, what we've learned is, Bereshit bera Elohim et hashemayim va'et ha'aretz va'aretz ha'ita tohu vavohu v'choshech al bnei tahom. And uh, that today's word is to home. Now, to, to, sit, to read that to you in English, that's in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and darkness was upon the face of to home, the deep. Now, the deep um, sort of refers to the, the, the deep waters of the ocean, right? The deepest, darkest waters of the ocean. And that uh, it's usually used as a metaphor, often used as a metaphor anyway, for death or for the sort of uncontrollable forces of, 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 of death and of, of something very dangerous. And uh, an interesting thing about the word to home is that uh, it's probably from the same root word as the Babylonian word Tiamat. Now Tiamat is a figure from Babylonian mythology who was the goddess of the sea. And so you can see how the deep is sort of uh, uncontrollable, chaotic, dangerous deep. Uh, you could understand, you could see the connection between that and this, this sort of uh, Babylonian goddess. You can see Tahom uh, in, uh, among other places, in uh, the book of Jonah. If you remember the story of Jonah, um, he's sort of uh, running away from God and he, there's a great storm on the ocean, so the people throw him out of the boat and he's sinking down into the sea and he cries out this poem and he says, uh, you know, uh, it talks about how the deep was covering over him, the deep waters were covering over his head as he was going down to the land of the dead. But of course then God rescues him and sends a great fish to come and, and bring him back up. So that's to home. Now I've also included just a, a bonus word down here which is mayim and this is a word that is uh, just a more normal word for water. And it does come later in Genesis 1 but it really just means water. And if you see that the Hebrew, uh, it written out here in Hebrew, this thing is interesting to point out that this first letter and this last letter are kind of like M's. Uh, they look different, but that but they're actually the same letter. But that's just how um, how Hebrew writing works. Depending on where in the word it is, the word, letter might look different. Well, that's all for today. Join us again next time as we learn another Hebrew word.